Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Par and uh, today I'm gonna be playing my simpler game. Right, in the previous episode we built a uh, Robite, Crash Robite production. So here it is. It seems to be working, everything's fine. Basically just copy it to uh, um, like another build, it's fine. Like, it should work as expected. Another thing that was done is uh, kind of placed six <laughs> header plants. <laughs> That's pretty much it, right? Six header plants, uh, uh, clarifiers. Actually, why don't we speed this up a little bit? So a uh, good thing is that we actually have some space here for a couple more clarifiers and maybe I should actually place them here. I... I don't know, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we should do it right now. Alright. Could do it right now. Or not. Let's see whether it's actually needed, because this clarifies that they are sped up quite a bit. And this too would also actually be uh, sped up. Hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna be doing it now, but in the future if we need if there is a need, we know what uh, to do, how to fix this, right? Okay. Let's um, see. What should we do now? I would like us to focus on this block. And uh, that block is uh, missing something. So what exactly are we missing? Let's see. We are missing this kind of lines. I'm gonna just copy it and just drag it up there like this. Could also do the same thing here actually. Yep. Something like this. This is looking great. Now, what should I do next? I think I should place this things. So if I copy that part, I'll just try to paste it right there. Is this gonna work? one misplaced and so right here we are not playing on doing anything right so let's just have a straight line of rails here even though yeah we are not gonna be using them for anything I, I guess I could use them for just for rubber port coverage that's pretty much it Oh wait, this one? Oh, okay, that's fine. So that's basically uh, it. I can copy it, turn this thing around and paste it like this. Yep. This is it. Now, now it's a pretty good time actually to to like do something with the blueprints but I am I'm, I'm not sure I don't like fixing blueprints but now is a really really good time to do that maybe I should do something about that let's see well this rail signal is not correct, right? Can be correct. This oh no, this one is correct. It's the other one, like the one that you'll add. 
kind of on the side. That is the one that will have a, a little bit more space. Okay, let's see what's happening here. First of all, I don't think we... I don't think we'll actually need to do anything here with this part of Rails, but we might as well leave them. Like, we could leave this part, maybe I could even remove the silos, to be honest. Or maybe I could keep them. It doesn't matter, right? Let's, let's keep the silos, it's okay. So, now, what should we do next? I feel we need to place like a power plant thingy. But right now, okay, we cannot really do. Okay, let's see. One, maybe two. Place one here. Um, let's go there. I'm not sure what to do in this episode. Should I focus on Robite? Or should I start processing sulfur? Because the problem with Robite, or I guess the problem with um, sulfur actually, is that we need to place, we need to build power plant here. And right now I cannot really do that because we are short on uh, what is this steam turbine too right we are shot on them why are we actually shot on them let's uh, take a look what's going on here with the production of steam turbines we are missing oh i see we are missing blue circuits that is the problem. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. We have some amount of red circuits, but we are completely out of blue circuits. It's almost embarrassing <laughs> that by this point of the game, we don't have blue circuits production. Kind of running constantly. And the reason for that seems to be titanium. Did it break again? Or what's the problem? The problem is the lack of robot. Okay. This explains it. We really need to do something here about the robot. We really, really need to do something. Okay, uh, first thing. I was going I was going to just paste it again but now I see that I haven't fully landfilled this uh, area with stuff so maybe it's a little bit too early mm, it might be a bit too early do anything there so what could we do what could we do now We'll figure it out. I think we should be able to... God, let's just wait. Let's just wait for Rubite, right? What is... like, what's using Rubite? Um... I pressed LT and everything is hanging now. No, I pressed Ctrl T. Oh. Let's press Ctrl T again. I don't like that LTN Manager mode is this slow. It's too slow. Come on. Is it just the station's view that's this bad? Yeah, let's take a look at the inventory. Uh, what are we missing? We are missing Robite Crystals. If you look... Yeah, Robite. 
which stations are actually asking for white crystals. Titanium is asking for those. And that's basically it, right? We are spending all of our white crystals, but do we have a problem with the production or something? We have lots of chunks in common. Honestly, that's a little bit surprising. This is quite a bit surprising. And we need nitric acid. Uh, right, let's uh, take a look at something. So we have this wastewater. We have sulfuric wastewater, that's straightforward. I think it's just sulfur. Let's take a look at, okay, chloric, might be interesting, chloric, whatever. Nitric wastewater. What's, what can we use it for? We can use puffers. We can just barrel it. We can extract sodium nitrate, and that's what we are doing right now. And then from sodium nitrate, we are producing um, nitric acid. And we can void it. Okay, so right now, we are using this path. But we also have this path that's given us ammonia gas. And I wonder, could we do something about this? So we need gaseous puffers and blazing puffers. So we need two types of puffers for this. Actual puffer atmosphere. We are getting ammonia gas. And what could we use it for? Ammonia gas could be used for... Uh, nit okay, it can be used to produce nitrogen monoxide gas. And from here... Nitrogen dioxide, wait, what? So we are adding oxygen and we are getting nitrogen monoxide. And then we're adding even more oxygen and we're getting nitrogen dioxide. Yes. And then we're adding some water and we have nitric acid. So... Okay, so if I were to... Be producing... Um, don't we have this path, this thing already here? Right, we have this thing here. But it's all based on sodium nitrate. Mm. If I were to use this process to produce nitric acid, how much nitric acid do we need? I think it's probably something around this number, right? One and a half thousand acid per second. I wouldn't be surprised if the number is like exactly the same, just with nitric acid. Let's uh, let's take a look. Um, what can we do? So this is nitrogen monoxide. Oh wait, I don't want to do it like this. Let's do all of this in one block. So nitrogen monoxide. And we're getting it from ammonia. Right, and this is very straightforward. It's just a little bit of aluminium. A little bit of silver. Okay. A bit of aluminium, a bit of silver. Which we can actually use this vertical line for that, right? Because it was unused, but we could use it to deliver this like stuff that is needed for catalysts. Okay, so we have a use for this line. And we also wanted to export some uh, sulfur, I think, on it. Not fully sure whether it's really needed, but it, it's an option. It's an option for sure. So, oxygen, that's not a problem. We'll just produce it on site, however much we need it, right? Uh, 
right on this one, this thing, producing oxygen, should be very straightforward. One thing that we are missing, we are missing purified water, which should not be that hard. Wait, no, not this process. I want the other process for purified water. I want this one. 7.5, but if you had some beacons, it's probably much less. And we need ammonia. Let's try to produce ammonia. Okay, what are the options? From hydrogen, nitrogen, and red metal catalyst. Honestly, this doesn't look that bad. And this one, ammonia from blue thingy, the buffers. Would it make sense? Does it make sense to use nitric waste water here to produce a lot of ammonia? Ammonia is used in lots of places. So, okay, so let's say we have this path for ammonia. What are we going? We're going for 720. And what if we use this path for ammonia? And we would like to get also. 720. What's the difference between them? So here's like hydrogen, nitrogen, it's basically not well actually nitrogen is completely free here because we are using this process with oxygen. Or nitric acid. And uh, hydrogen How could we get hydrogen? And we could use... We, we could get it from purified water. Like either like this or like this. Like e even this process should be good enough. For us, right? And we are getting some purified water out of it. So with all of this, I want to say that it's not worth exporting into Christ water. I don't think it's worth it. Doesn't quite make sense to me why we would want to have this process with 144 buffers. Okay, if we had some speed modules, speed beacons around, it's still a lot of buffers with like super complex process all for what for stuff that we don't really need nitric waste water right we don't need that interesting Okay, let's take a look. Um, this is really a straightforward process, right? Am I missing anything? What do we have for minus 0 0.1? What's the problem there? I, I don't get why we have this negative number here. It's a bit strange, but we just need a little bit of copper, a little bit of iron, it's pretty much nothing. Nitrogen, we have it already. Okay. Um, that's it. I'm not gonna be exporting uh, nitric acid. Uh, not nitric acid. The, the, this thing. I'm not gonna be exporting nitric waste water. Doesn't make any sense to me. Doesn't make sense. What other. Uh, I will probably continue exporting 
uh, whatever the thing was. This thing? Sodium nitrate. Continue expert on sodium nitrate. And this... Are we using this process, by the way? First, second, second process. Are we using this process? Over here. I mean, it honestly doesn't matter much, but yes, we are not uh, taking sulfuric... Uh, sulfur. We are not uh, relying on sulfur here. So, yeah. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. So, it seems that I should have something like this. Done here for. Oh, wait. I, I never finished this. It's connected here. This is output, input, output, output. Okay, now the robots should be able to landfill uh, this area. Right. This is sodium nitrate. I want to take a look at it again. Uh, sodium nitrate, this thing. You can use it to produce nitric acid if you had sulfuric acid, which we, I mean, we kind of do, but let's pretend we don't. And you can use this process to get nitrogen dioxide, monoxide, and then from dioxide we get nitric acid. Okay, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay. Now, what else do we have? We have uh, another waste water. We have chloric waste water and chloric waste water. Chloric waste water. What can we do with this one? We can can produce hydrogen chloride from it, kind of directly. This doesn't look too bad, but we'll need some gaseous buffers and corrosive buffers for that. This one is irrelevant for us. This one is the normal process. We can get salt and saline water and purified water, which is good. So we can be getting a lot of salt from it. And salt can be used to produce sodium. And chlorine. How can we produce salt? So salt is a very cheap thing to produce. It just takes 1000 saline water. And we can have lots of salt. So it's not exactly worth it to actually do anything with chloric waste water. We can just clarify it pretty much fully. And fluoric waste water, we can get fluoride ore from it. And this is something that we probably should keep. Yeah, we definitely want to keep this one. Okay, other... What options do we have? We have hydrogen fluoride gas. 100 to 100. So maybe for fluoric, for, for, for this thing, it might make sense to actually use puffers as well, right? Because we need gaseous puffers, acidic uh, puffers, and this thing, hydrogen fluoride. What does it take to get it? Yeah. We are relying right now on this process with benzene ethylene. Are we? Let's 
Ocean Flight and a Floric Asset. Well, we're actually interested in having Floric Asset, right? Not the other way around. Um, let's take this thing and see how it could be used. Hydrofluoric acid. Yes, we just need to add some purified water to it. So that uh, is probably very useful because we need it for jewel crystals and we need it in some other places. So it, it, it's probably a good thing if we have um, production of this acid somewhere. Somewhere there. I mean, nitric acid, you can also produce it here and just send it uh, over there. Just that. Um, it, it's just that this whole kind of production is very, very simple. We don't need buffers for that. I'm not sure whether we need it for fluoric uh, acid, to be honest. Okay, what, what all of this means? It means that we should be able to do something uh, here with uh, nitric um, wastewater. Right? We should be able to come up with something over there. Let's see what we could do. So, this one is completely unnecessary here. This one is also unnecessary. I don't know why we placed it there. It's okay. Wait a moment. And now... Now... This is gonna be a bit tricky. Because this build... Will kinda be different. Okay, let's, let's start with something. Let's uh, take this part. Like this. Let's just paste this thing here. Oh. <laughs> we cannot do that. It's a completely wrong intersection. Completely wrong. Let's try again. Okay. If we are building something there. Should work, right? Um, let's see. I I feel like we need to remove this part. It's uh, it's not helping us at all. This one as well, not helping. This one, let's keep it, but it's not like it's you know, super useful either. So this part is gonna be. It's gonna be a bit, a bit more difficult to make all of this work nicely. Let's see, so first of all, I could copy this block and just paste it here. We'll be getting niche cases from here. And uh, on the other side, from up there, we'll be getting some nitric acid. What uh, lines here? Yeah. Oh, right. That's fine. Do the same thing here and uh, here. Now, what do we need? Okay, good. Now, the main problem, if I just copy this thing, I don't, think, I don't feel like we have enough... I 
don't feel like we have enough uh, of everything here and um, First question, do we need the station? I feel like we do, but I don't have space to clarify all of these things right here. Okay, how about I copy this block? Actually, um... I copy all of it. No, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to copy. I think. I think something is wrong with what we are doing. <laughs> I feel like something is wrong. thinking now how can we build how can we start producing robite here so we have robite production here that's good uh crush robite production that is right we have it getting produced here and here it will be delivered into the station and then from here we need to get to the crystals which means that we need to have nitric acid nitric acid will be coming from here from the station and this one so we have a nitric acid there. One thing that I haven't really thought about, but I don't necessarily need to export stuff there. I could use the station for exporting uh, of this material, whatever it is. Uh, what is the thing? This, this thing, sodium nitrate. I can export it in this station. Because we have some extra um, extra space available that we are not really using. Alright. Okay, if I Copy it. This part. Can I just paste it here? It's been fine. Yeah, this is looking fine. Almost. <laughs> it's like almost looking fine. Let's think. So this block, I could be producing purified. Well, I don't need to produce this much purified um, water. I need a lot of purified water. Do I? I'm really confused. I'm... I cannot figure out what I want to do. Because if I send... So let's, let's think about it. We can... You 
you know what? I'm not gonna be trying to optimize this stuff. I, I'll be using exactly the same layout. I'll be just uh, like training um, Nitric Waste Water from here over here and pretty much clarifying it over there. Well, not exactly clarifying, but it's almost like uh, clarifying. It'll basically be like doing something with it and producing um, Nitric Acid. And if you are getting too much uh, waste water, yeah, I'll be just clarifying it. That's it. I, I, I don't want to spend more time than I already did on that. I think spent enough time as it is. So that means that what I need is the following. I need to build stuff here. Okay, let's do this. I don't need this one. We can copy this um, intersection pretty much. Well, it's not exactly intersection. Well, it's like crossing, right? We are copying this uh, crossing right there, like this. And uh, now, I need to copy this spot. Uh, well, we could even take a little bit more. Yeah. Like this. So we are copying something here. We'll be exporting uh, Nitty Quest Water here. It will be delivered to the left. Right. On this side, I also would like to do something very, very similar. So I basically just want to kind of copy this thing and just paste it like this. Would it fit? Yep, it kind of fits. So we have one tile um, on both sides of the... Well, on the side of both uh, rail signals. Okay, I would like to go there and to enable the power here. Let's enable it. We have turned on power plant. We are still missing lots of things there, but um, the hope is that all these things will be delivered soonish. Let's uh, copy this one. We'll paste it here. Do now. Okay. This part, this one. Mm. I don't like one thing here. I don't really like to just say that I'm not gonna be like really thinking about that too much. So I, I'm not quite uh, fond of this plan. Just send Nitric Acid kind of to the left and deal with it later. I really don't like it, but. Uh, Let's just go for it for now, and we'll figure something out later. Or, you know what, maybe... Maybe the thing that I'm most interested at this point is figuring out how this part would work, would, would look, if I were to just send all the asset to the left. Right, let's maybe try and do that. How could we do that? So, if I copy it, this build. I think, okay, first thing, we are missing something. We are definitely missing these arrows, right? Let's um, add them, where are the arrows? Let's see the arrows, we have them here. This is the one, right? Okay, nice. So basically placing them much right across. One, um, two, one, two. Well, here we also have the same thing, so I might as well place them 
the station. Just build proper blueprints <laughs> for the stations. I should just do that. So. It's 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 fine. It's fine. It will like we'll get it done at some point. It will work at some point. Right for now, let's just copy maybe this half. Like right there. I hope if I paste it, this will remain disabled. This actually disabled. I hope this will be disabled because if it, if the requester here is enabled, then it will be pretty sad, be very very sad. And let's paste the same thing somewhere here like this. Nice. I really don't like the idea of uh, sending it like I from here all the time to the left. Maybe we could fit something here, maybe we could uh, change it a little bit. Because um, I know that I said that I don't want to think about it, but I just I just cannot. I can't stop thinking about it. So here, what do we actually need? We need 2 with 12, Oops, and we need... Like four with ten. And the reason we have four here is because of the input of the water. I could try to figure something out. I'm almost sure that we could make it work. Almost sure. Almost. Not quite though. No. Uh right, let's see. So we have uh, something like this. Right, if we turn it around, it will kind of look like that. This is the input of nitric acid. It will be getting uh, nitric acid uh, from here, and you know what? Right, and we are getting it here. This one, I uh, will need to rename all of this. The current names just don't make any sense. Whatsoever. Mm, what's happening here? Let's see. What are we waiting for? We are missing some beacons. We are basically using a lot of blue circuits right now because these beacons, beacons too, I think they're using uh, regular beacon. Yeah. Like beacons too, they require processing units. So that's why we have like this huge shortage of. Uh, uh, I want to see the tags. That's why we have a huge shortage uh, shortage of uh, processing units of blue circuits because we are using them a lot, and yeah, we are using too too many of this. Right here. This one is disabled, that's great, because what we're actually interested here, we're interested not in crash separate 200 stacks, we're interested in crash rewrite, same thing, 200 stacks. Right, we want it here, and I think we actually want it on the other side, but we might as well change it with rewrite. Right? And here, how we would call it, we will call this refining, this thing, this thing, and this thing, input 1. That's the one. And this is refining. Our byte input 2. Just like that. Just like that. Let's take a closer look. Yep. That's uh, looking good. And now I could copy this. 
and paste it here. And this one is still disabled. I don't want to enable it just yet because we do not have power connected. Yeah. Okay. So. What do we have? We have power produced by um, this uh, steam turbines. That means that we can actually delete uh, this uh, combinator and uh, we could uh, kind of copy this whole, well, maybe not whole thing, but majority of it could just be copied and paste there. Nice. Okay, great. So do we have uh, this part is not quite done. It's bad. Let's just maybe copy it like this. We'll. Oh, I see. We're missing some um, some stuff here. Missing these things. We are missing. We are missing blasting charges. Just like this. Okay, nice. This will work. It will be given us purified water. I think I'm going ahead with the plan of just. Uh, sending stuff uh, to the left postponing the problem we'll figure it out later <laughs> that's not a good way of uh, dealing with uh, design issues but <laughs> that's what i'm going for for now let's do this Okay, I could copy this and paste it, let's see, here, one, wait, did I do it correctly? I hope so, yep, one, and paste this thing here, two, and yeah, we'll just wait and, we'll just wait. Now, what is happening? Yeah, I could copy this rail here, and uh, yeah, that's basically, actually this is a pretty nice line, like rail line, if you don't have um, like the signals all on it, but that, that's okay, we might not need, well, Okay, it's not okay because we have rail chain signal here. That's not great. Maybe we could add the signals here, kind of in the middle. Yep, like this. I think this would be nice. This would be useful to have because this will uh, make sure that this vertical line can be used. Like even if it's like pretty long, it can still be somewhat used by the uh, by the chains and you know might actually add this thing here as well so why not and this thing both sides and here it will also fit yep okay nice this uh, is already looking much 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 better we have the block for sulfuric um, wastewater processing, we need that block, right? Like, we know that we need it. We actually need uh, multiple of these blocks. Oh, I don't do it like that. We need multiple of these blocks. We need like three of them, right? One here, one for Javelite, I think, and 
one for Bob Money. So we'll have two here and one there. Or something like this. I, I'm not fully sure. No, Javelite is different. We need it for Sephirite, Stereotite, and Bodmonium, I think. Let's take a look. We need uh, Sephirite, Stereotite, and Bodmonium, exactly. And Javelite is for Request Water. Oh, yeah, we can figure stuff out later. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So we have this process. We want to request. Let's actually start requesting Crush to Bite. Like we need it. So let's get it. Let's get the stuff here. Have uh, rail connections. It like we seem to have it. I don't understand why some of this. Um, Our holes are missing. I'm not getting that part. Okay. Um, right. I think that was not a good choice what I did here. So just connect it there. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't, didn't want that to happen. What happened? got a connection somewhere. Something got connected to something. I don't understand. But, oh, this was the problem. Right. Okay. That's it. This is the problem. So we are playing with Power of a Lot mod and uh, um, each kind of type of power pole or substation whatever has maximum consumption. And this one the purple substation 3 has maximum consumption of 400 megawatts, but our main network here is actually providing us with like 580 or something. Basically, you can see that right now we have more than 500 megawatts flowing on it, so as soon as this connection is added, like lots of stuff just blow up, uh, which is not nice. And this is another uh, problematic place that we got. Uh, Fix. Okay, nice. Actually, this whole thing might need to be um, redone a little bit. Um, right, because we are assuming now that we wouldn't need... Yeah, like sulfuric acid here is not needed in any case. Right, it's just, it's just not needed. Let's remove that part. This one can be changed quite a bit. I'm not sure whether now is the time. One, two. We might have to redo and like improve this block quite a bit, to be honest. So for now, this is all about producing purified water. Right, this whole thing is just about purified water. We could actually have some purified water production right here. Right? Actually, why don't we do that? Oh, interesting. I think that's a very interesting idea. If we care only about purified water, why don't we produce it kind of on this side? because we can have purified water production right here, right here, right here, and right here. Oh, I like this so much more than whatever I did um, over there. We have four of this, just sending stuff in from the side. Then this thing will be somewhat free. I mean, we could just, I guess, send a little bit extra purified water from the top.
Okay, let's uh, do something here. So here, defining... So what? Robite, 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 and here we are outputting right crystals. Right, right. It we are in wastewater. Need to waste water. This is the one. And here, what we are getting, it's it's basically exactly the same thing. Refining, robite, we find it. Refining, robite. This is input of nitric acid. Oh, this acid. This. Why do we have two different... I... wait... Doesn't make any sense. We're interested in nitric acid. Nitric waste water. Nitric acid. And this are the recipes. I don't want the recipe, I want the thing. Nitric acid. Did I use a wrong icon for the sulfur down there? So I think I selected the recipe, but I, I don't want the recipe. I want like this one. Yeah, I, I don't want icon for recipe. I want uh, I want icon for the thing. This is the one. Yep. So let's uh, take a better look. Do we have need. Uh, sulfuric acid here yeah, and here we have nitric acid. Okay, good. This is actually great. Let's see what's happening here. Right, we need to change the recipe, but I am really liking the idea of placing this hydro plants on the side. Because then we have even more space to do something like for example we could use the space to just uh, clarify the thing we could use it to uh, yeah to clarify the excess of uh, uh, we'll, we'll have not sulfuric waste water we'll have uh, uh, nitric waste water and I could do exactly the same thing down here right In theory, if I come up with a good design for that, for the nitric, it kind of feels like the previous episode so <laughs> useless didn't bring us anywhere because I, I'll be like, uh, uh, you know, redesigning this part, I think. But I feel like we should give it a try at the very least. Let's take a look. There is enough space, there is totally enough space for this. Let's just do this. Um, there is one potential problem. It's a little bit hard to connect things. Yeah. Just due to the way things are kind of wired here. But it shouldn't be that hard, right? Because if you move this thing to the right, if you move all of this to the right, then we could just send things directly into this small and nice storage tank and kind of give a little bit more water and then it will be sent directly down um, well almost I'd like to add um, some kind of priority from the left for that. Or maybe we could completely redesign this part. Maybe we could completely redesign this part. Uh, I'll think about it in the next episode. I think we should uh, 
stop the episode here. We almost, we almost got robot chunks. Actually, maybe I should make sure that we, we really get them. Or not. Um, I don't know, it looks like we didn't progress that much here, but I, I want to change you know, the way... Oh, let, let's do the following. Let's take a look here. We need to produce 7.5 thousand purified water. For that we need 12 beacons. Right, we need 12 beacons for each of these hydro plants. If I were to add hydro plant, let's see here. Okay, this is a bad spot. If I were to add it here, what would happen? Let's think about this. Oh, I could even do it like this, I think. Yep. Um, let's remove this part. Say we are placed on this hydro plant. If I placed hydro plant right here, we wouldn't we don't have space for the water. Um, but if I would place it. Alright, here, oh, on, on, on which side, on which side of the header plant we have good stuff, on the right side, so on this side we have the good thing, we can use something like this, pressurize it and just send it forward and here we could uh, basically just clarify it with like a couple of, you know, with like a couple of these ones, like like that. But then, if you do it like this, then we wouldn't be able to copy the same kind of build up there, so it wouldn't really work. So how can we make sure everything is working fine? Um, I could move this one to the left, like this. We could add a pipe here to clarify this thing directly. It will just send this thing through. Now the main problem is how to connect these things. Well, we can move it a little bit down, actually. I mean, there are like lots of ways. There are lots of ways to do what we want, so to be honest. Lots of ways. Just think a bit. We don't need this complicated setup here, do we? I don't think we do. I don't think we really need to have complicated setup, but it's it would be much better to have this header plants placed here. It already looks much cleaner. Uh, right, let me just take a look at the, this one. It's fine. And we can always... Um, Kind of build things a little bit differently here. Here it's fine. Here you know it's it's also fine. We can we can figure stuff out. Right, I'm I'm gonna be using this approach. Um, I'll I'll have this header plants placed on the side, and the connection will be not vertical but kind of horizontal. And the only thing we really care about, okay, not too much. It's fine. We care about pushing. Uh, wastewater up as fast as we can and we can repurpose this area to be 
like to clarify the excess in case we need it because the only thing that we'll need here is to load it up into storage tanks and the same here right the only thing we'll be doing is just loading them up in this uh, storage tanks which yeah shouldn't be that hard to do to be honest sounds like very straightforward what, what we are doing here um right i think that's that's the plan that is the plan let's take a break here i feel like uh i don't even know how to call it it's like planning uh nitric uh well not nitric robite chunks robite refine something like this let's call it something like this uh, thanks everyone for watching. This was episode 232, where we were doing stuff with Robite <laughs> without actually doing stuff. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!